Gray, we need to order. Paul Roll. Mayor Quirum. Here. Councilmember Newman. Here. Gomez. Here. McCall. Here. Lekransky. Please stand and join us. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Do we have any uh, public comments tonight to get started? Okay, I'll go to uh, Commissioner Newman, approval minutes. Thank you, Mayor. I move that we approve the minutes from our regular council meeting on October 3rd, 2022. Second. Motion for the second. Comments? Go roll. Council Member Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCall? Aye. Mayor Quirin? Aye. And we'll go to approval invoices and see if we can. For this period in the Department of Accounts and Finances, we have invoices totaling $211,135.24. <coughs> in the Department of Streets and Public Improvements, we have invoices totaling $844,999.19. In the Department of Public Safety, we have invoices totaling $247,000. $328.03. In the Department of Public Property and Utilities, we have invoices totaling $466,755.86 for a grand total of $1,770,218.32. Mayor, all council members present have confirmed their reviews of all invoices and now are submitted for disposition. I move that the invoices be uh, accepted as presented. Second. Motion to second comments. A lot of money. Yes. <laughs> Call the roll. Councilmember Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCall? Aye. Mayor Quirin? Aye. We'll go to regular business and city personnel. Next on the agenda is suspension of the requirement for a second reading on Ordinance 0-22-018. Authorizing execution and delivery of a purchase and sale agreement with OBO Ventures Incorporated for certain property located within the Princeton Commercial Park. There, all council members have reviewed this uh, requirement and uh, it's submitted for disposition. I move that we suspend Ordinance O dash, I suspend the second reading of Ordinance O 22 018. Motion has been second. Um, before I uh, offer this up, uh, Commissioner McCrancy could not be here tonight, but he wanted me to make sure everybody understood that even though his vote would not count, he, he supports this uh, this motion. So with that said, any comments from the council? Call roll. Councilmember Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCall? Aye. Mayor Quirin? Aye. Next item on the, on the agenda is Ordinance 0-22-018, authorizing execution and delivery of a purchase and sale agreement with OBO Ventures Incorporated for a certain property located within the Princeton Commercial Park. There, all council members uh, have reviewed this ordinance and it is submitted for disposition. We move that we approve Ordinance 0-22-018. Second. And uh, before we vote on this, uh, I wanted to pass along saying with Marty on this, uh, on this, he supports it even though his vote would not count. Okay. So any comments from the council? I would like to say a couple things uh, real quick on this. Um, so, you know, the news has reported that uh, um, Ollie's bargain discount uh, company from uh, Pennsylvania is going to be building a 600,000 square foot uh, distribution center here in Princeton that will uh, expand by another 180,000 square foot um, a year or two or three after they build the 600,000. It's a 60, $68 million project. It's going to also involve businesses here in the city of Princeton. It's going to create 250 plus jobs. Um, so it's, it's a huge thing for the, uh, for the city of Princeton. Um, we are, we negotiated with, uh, with Ollie's, uh, to purchase uh, our entire industrial park, all 135 acres. The city will return, will receive and return approximately $1,350,000 for the sale of that property. That money uh, the city will be putting to use going forward also in economic development projects because this is an economic development project that we're uh, receiving the money for. So, uh, you know, and that said, you know, we've got a lot of things working in the city. I can, obviously, we can't really talk about, but uh, 
this all goes towards economic development. You know, Princeton is a growing community. Things are working. Um, things are working very well. You know. So uh, I do want to point out that uh, Chamlin and uh, Associates, our engineer on this project, um, they work with us in providing uh, information to uh, Ollie's, and uh, they did a, a, just a, an outstanding job throughout this process. So well, in fact, that. Ollie's hired them to be the site engineers for their project out on uh, North of Interstate 80. And I also want to thank Teresa and Pete. Um, we, um, we negotiated this, uh, this project over the uh, last six months. Um, you know, I can't say enough about uh, the cohesiveness and the, the uh, um, um, chemistry that we built with Ollie's. Uh, their, their uh, construction company, Lee and Associates, site selector. Uh, this project was done, in, you know, this is project, this is you know, a $70 million project, and we completed it in six months' time, which is really uh, a short period of time for such a project. And I want to thank the city council. We, as soon as we knew that this was a viable project, we brought the city council involved, uh, up to date on what was going on, uh, all you know, the, every step of the way. They were involved in the uh, uh, figures on the negotiation of the sale of the, pro or the sale of the property, so it was uh, it was a team effort. So I want to give everybody a, a huge thank you. This is a big deal for the city of Princeton, uh, for the Bureau of County, for the surrounding area going forward. So that's all I have to say. So anybody any comments by the council? Well, I'm I'm couldn't be happier that we've got allies coming to town. This is a major uh, jolt in our economic uh, growth. As a community, and uh, we're, I'm just I'm glad they're there. Uh, I think it's notable that uh, there were two other cities in addition to Princeton that were being looked at by Ollie's, and we were chosen, and we were chosen for a lot of reasons. And one of them is what you talked about, Joel, and that's you and Teresa and Pete really put your heads together and delivered a comprehensive package for these folks. And when they came out to visit and had a site visit. They were obviously impressed with what they saw and what they heard, and um, I think it's great. So you're right. It was a team effort, and uh, we worked very well together. So, uh, And it, that property has been on our books for 14 years, and I'm very glad to see it finally got sold. We bought it in 2008. The previous administration bought it in 2008, and we're finally going to put something on, which is good news. I believe that... Um the whole process, obviously, we let us know once the, the mayor said it, it was viable when it was going to happen. And uh, we did spend some time discussing a lot of things with uh, some of the special meetings. And, you know, I personally looked at that, you know, Princeton had a lot to offer, being that we're kind of a gateway from I-80 all the way up to the East Coast and the West Coast. And I not only got uh, our infrastructures, with the water, with, with the hospital, and everything else is in here, uh, I believe that, you know, they did offer a lot of choices, a lot of uh, things for Ollie to come here, and I'm very grateful that we were able to come with agreements with them and the hard work that everybody put for this project. I think the biggest <coughs> exciting thing is we're bringing 250 plus jobs to town. It just you can't beat that number. Um, we haven't seen something like this this large in a long time in our area. I think that's very important to see that uh, it's just going to help bring people to town, you know, work, live, and uh, build upon it. I think too a lot of local vendors are going to benefit from this construction project, right? For sure, they'll be tapping the local people that supply all sorts of things to build a building of this size. So, you know, Hector brought up a good point. You know, the infrastructure, this uh, this site out here um, was shovel ready. You know, first of all, the city owned it. That, that was a huge plus for us. And secondly, it was shovel ready. Everything, all the utilities are right there. And uh, they didn't have to dinker around with other utilities. It was all the city of Princeton. That was, that was, that was a huge plus. We were... As Jerry pointed out, we were in competition with a, a town in Iowa and a town in Indiana. Uh, the town in Iowa dropped off and it came down between us and Indiana, and in the end we got it. So, uh, and just, uh, and you know, these, are the, these are three communities, but even before that, there were uh, several other communities within Illinois that they were dealing with as well that dropped off. So, it's a, it's a huge plus for us. It's a huge plus for this I-80 corridor for the, for the entire area. So. I'll add one more comment, if I can. Um, I know there's been some 
thank yous to certain people involved in this, but I, I can't go without saying thank you to some of our department heads that really provided information very quickly for this project when it was needed and went out of their way to get the information to the Ollie's execs. So, um, again, I, I, I praise our department heads. They're, they're top notch. Now, we were able to get that information from them. We were able to get the information to uh, to Ollie's and their uh, um, um, builders much, much sooner than they expected to get it, and it was because of the due diligence that our department has, and, and, and Pete as well. Pete, you know, anything you like to... Well, I've mentioned before, I think Jerry kind of uh, touched on it, and that is um, uh, previous administrations had the foresight at one time to purchase that land. Uh, things were far more favorable back in 2008 when we thought that we could capitalize much sooner on uh, an occupant for that parcel. Um, as soon as we bought it, unfortunately, the recession of 2008 kicked in, and uh, we've been trying to recover ever since. Uh, I've been attending trade shows over the years um, with Chicago area site selectors and national site selectors, and uh, they kept assuring me that, uh, even though I was a little frustrated that we weren't getting a project, they kept assuring me that if you just hang in there, uh, uh, projects are working their way down the I-80 corridor, and we will get our time, and here we are. So it's, it's patience and preparedness is what really got us here. Um, so. Um, uh, it's good that, that it looks like things are recovering sufficiently where this kind of investment can uh, be realized in Princeton. Yeah, anyway, and also one more final point, when you consider the economy of the, uh, of the United States and how things have been tracking, you know, for us to pull in this position, uh, this, this project, uh, is really a, a feather in our cap. I, I got a message from our state representative saying this is the largest project uh, in downstate Illinois in, in a long time. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big deal. So any further comments? Right. Motion has been second. Call roll. Councilmember Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCall? Aye. Mayor Quirin? Aye. We'll go to city manager report. Um, Halloween trick-or-treat hours will be from 5 until 8 on Monday, October 31st. Uh, participating households, as usual, should have their porch lights on. Trick-or-treaters trick should do their best to be visible and mindful of traffic at all times. Vehicle drivers should do their best to be mindful of low-visibility costumes and children crossing the roadways at all times. So 5 to 8 on Halloween night. Um, one other item, I uh, wanted to make an announcement on the tourism side. Uh, we have uh, made an offer to Tori Yepsen to be our Director of Tourism for the City of Princeton, and she has gladly and enthusiastically accepted that, um, and she will be, how her office will actually be here at City Hall. So we're excited to get that started, probably the first part of November, so she'll, she'll take that position. So. Yeah, looking forward to that. And that will allow uh, Jenica Cole to uh, concentrate her her uh, uh, abilities on the uh, on the chamber. And uh, the reason why this is being made, this this position is being made, is that the uh, the city, since we put tourism in the chamber, has grown. Uh, our, our tourism money that we're bringing in is more than we've brought in we've ever brought in. Uh, we've got more money to put towards tourism, and it's becoming a full-time job. So to ask one person to do two full-time positions is, is not fair. So this is a good result of what Thanks, Reason. I don't have anything tonight. We have any old business? New business? Public comment? Okay, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn and reconvene in three weeks. Move that we adjourn our regular meeting this evening and come together again for our next council meeting on Monday, November 7th, 2022, 7 o'clock at City Hall. Second. Motion has been second. This meeting is in roll. Call roll. <laughs> Councilmember Newman? Aye. Gomez? Aye. McCall? Aye. Mayor Burrow? Aye. This meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for attending.